1.4 complex numbers and 1.5 quadratic equations preparation. Find the least common denominator. Okay, so. These are the steps on how to do it, where it says factor each denominator into prime factors. Then step two, list each de different denominator factor. The greatest number of times it appears in any of the denominators. And step three, multiply the denominator factors from step two to find the LCD. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. The first one is 5m is already factored, but the m squared minus 3m is not factored. I can factor an m out, and that will leave me an m minus 3. Right, so I simply said m squared divided by m is m, and negative 3m divided by m is negative 3. Okay, so we have a 5 to the first power, an m to the first power, an m to the first power, and we have an m minus 3 to the first power. So we want to include each one of those to the highest power. So we have a 5, an m, and then we have an m minus 3. And that's it, right? So it's very similar to what we did previously, except now we have these parentheses, which look a little weird, but it's still basically the same concept. So we want to be careful about that, right? Okay, so let's try to factor this one over here. For whatever reason, I left out the second one. So that is definitely in my bad. I can still factor it, though, which is all I can do, because I left out the other one somehow. So we have an R, we have an R. It ends in a negative, so they're going to have opposite signs. So we're looking for two numbers to multiply because it gives you a negative 5, but if you add together, it will give you a negative 4. Negative 4 indicates that the stronger number is going to be negative, in this case 5, and the weaker number is going to be a 1. And that's as far as we can go on that one because I left out the other, the other one. Okay, so let's do this one over here. So this one is a Q minus 5, which there's nothing really you can factor out of that. Now, if you reorder this one right here, this one could be reordered as negative q plus 5 by putting the, uh, this is a higher uh, term, right? The, uh, the degree of this q is higher, so I can flip the order. And then I could factor a negative out, and that would leave me q minus 5, in which case now they match. So you can kind of say that the LCD of this one would be something like negative 1 q negative 5. Now technically you could have uh, done that with this one over here. You could have a um, you could have uh, flipped the order of that negative 5 plus q, and then you could factor a negative out, and then you end up with a 5 um, minus q. But generally speaking, the, the proper order is the, the higher degrees first and the lower degrees afterwards. So it's a little bit better of an answer right there. Okay, so write the values of each of the variable that makes the denominator 0 and solve and check the linear equation. Now, to find out what makes the denominator 0, it's it's actually really simple. You set the denominator equal to 0 and you solve. So what makes this one right? 0. Well, x is equal to 0. That's literally it. 0 makes that equal to 0. What about 5x? Well, 5x is equal to 0. Well, divide by 5, divide by 5, cancel, cancel, you end up with x is equal to 0. Well, there you go. So 0 makes x equal to 0, or makes these denominators equal to 0. Now, the reason that's important is if your denominator is equal to 0, you're dividing by 0. For instance, the first one would be 3 over 0, and that would make it undefined. Right, undefined. So be careful. That basically means if I solve these and I get an answer that would make the original equation denominator equal to zero, then that's not a valid answer because it would make it undefined. Okay, now how do we solve this? Well, just like previous um, equations that had fractions, your first step is to get rid of the fraction. And the way you do that is you find the LCD. Well, the LCD of this one, it looks like we have a 5 to the first power and we have an x, right? So there's a first power there, first power there, 5 to the first power. The LCD is 5x, so we are simply going to multiply the entire thing by 5x. Okay, so what I'm going to do is say 5x times 3 is 15x. Put that over x. We're going to say 5x times 9 is equal to 45x. And then I'm going to say 5x times 2, which gives me 10x. So put that over the 5x. Next step is you simplify. These x's cancel out, leaving you 15. 45 divided by 5 is a 9. x divided by x cancels out. And plus 10x. We want to get this 10x by itself, so we get rid of that positive 9 by subtracting 9. Whatever we do to one side, we do get the other. We get a 6 is equal to 10x. We undo the multiplication of uh, x by 10 by dividing both sides by 10. And we end up with x is equal to 6 over 10. 
We simplify that by dividing both of these by 2. And that gives you x is equal to 3 over 5. Now, you could divide first instead of multiply first, and that makes it a little bit shorter. So we could say 5x divided by x means 5. 5 times 3 is 15. So you could kind of skip from there to the 15. Same thing on the next one where you say 5x divided by 5 it cancels out, leaving you a 9. So again, you skip all the way to that, uh, I guess, kind of the, the second or third step best there. And then you just say 5x times 2 is 10x. So by dividing first, you can, you can go a little bit faster, and you're able to do a little bit more mentally. But I understand that if division first is kind of confusing, you can just stick with multiplication first, and you get the same answer. Okay, so let's look at the LCD of this one. So what's the LCD of this one? We have an x and we have a 2x, so it looks like it's... First of all, we have a... Let's do the prime factorization of the 4, which gives you 2 squared. Okay, so you have an x to the first power, you have a 2 to the first power, you have an x to the first power, you have a 2 to the second power. So we want to include each element to the highest power, which gives me 2 squared x, or 4x. So we are going to multiply this entire equation by 4x. So let's try that division trick, right? So if I, can't, the multi, if I divide 4x by x, I get a 4, 4 times 3 is 12. All right, so I did the first one. If I do the next one, uh, 4x times 5 is 20x. Then right here, we divide first. 4x divided by 2x is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Then finally, we say over here, 4x divided by 4 is x. x times 21 is plus 21x. OK, so uh, we have 12 plus 20x. You can't combine those. They're not like terms. You have 20 plus 21x. You can't combine those. Those are not like terms. Now we want to get all the variables on one side. Minus 20x. Minus 20x. Cancel, cancel, you end up with 12 is equal to 6 plus x, right? 21 minus 20x is just x, then minus 6 minus 6, cancel, cancel. And then you end up with 6 is equal to x, and that's it. Okay, the least common denominator in this case, you're going to include each one of the elements. Now, elements can include this entire parenthesis, right? So we see that all the denominators are, at this point, just x minus 1. So the least common denominator in this case is x minus 1. So what we do in this case is the first step is we multiply the entire equation by x minus 1. So we distribute it. So when you distribute, you end up with x minus 1 times 1 all over x minus 1 plus x minus 1 times 2 right, is equal to x minus 1 times 11 all over x minus 1. Now you see the x minus 1 over here cancels out and the x minus 1 over here cancels out. And that just leaves you x, well let's distribute it. So 2 times x and 2 times negative 1 gives me 2x minus 2. And uh, we still have this one right here. So we need to put the one there, plus. And then over here on the right side, we still have this 11. So we still need to write this 11 right there. So we end up with 1 plus 2x minus 2 equals 11. Now at this point, since we've gotten, uh, since there are no more parentheses, right? What we're going to do at this point is we're going to combine like terms. So it looks like there's a 1 there. And there's a negative 2 there. And we combine those, so we keep the 2x. And 1 minus 2 is negative 1. And we keep the 11. Next, we want to get all the variables on one side. Check all the variables on the left side right here. And we want to get all the constants on the other side. So we get all the constants on the other side by adding 1 to both sides. Okay, so we keep the 2x. These ones right here cancel each other out. And that leaves me a 12 on the right. Next, we want to undo the multiplication of x by 2 by dividing by 2. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other side. Those cancel out, leaving me x is equal to 6. Now, if we had gotten 1, that would not be a good answer because... That's a 0. Because a 1 would make the denominator equal to 0 and therefore undefined. So that's not a valid answer. But in this case, we got a 6 as an answer, so it's probably a good answer. 
So let's try the next one. Okay, so we move on to the next one. We have 9 over 5x plus 15 is equal to 9 over x plus 3 minus 5, uh, 3 over 5. First step to find the LCM, but before you can find the LCM or LCD in this case, because it's in the denominator, you need to factor everything. So I can factor a 5 out of a 5 and a 15. Then I say 5x divided by 5 is x. And then I say 15 divided by 5 is 3. x plus 3, that's done. 5, that's done. Now, the LCD is going to include both of these pieces, right? So it's going to include, it's going to include a 5 check. It's going to include an x plus 3, check, and that's it. Okay, so I'm going to leave it in this factored form, this denominator right here. Next step is we're going to multiply this entire equation by 5 times parentheses x plus 3 in parentheses, and we are going to cancel stuff out. On the first one, everything will cancel out, so you're just going to be left with 9, right? When you distribute it to the first one, you say 5 x plus 3 multiplied by this, and then the denominator is going to look to completely cancel out. So we move on to the next one. Now in this case, only the x plus 3 will cancel out. Right? So we keep the 9. But then, because the x plus 3 cancels out, we don't include the x plus 3, but we do include the 5. And then finally, let's distribute that to the last one. In this case, the 5 will cancel out. But you're going to uh, keep the x plus 3. Okay, so you keep the 9. 9 times 5 is 45, and then negative 3 times x is negative 3x, and negative 3 times positive 3 is negative 9. Next, we want to combine like terms. We have 45 minus 9. So 45 nine minus 9 is 36. Keep the negative 3x, or the minus 3x at the end. Next, we want to get this negative 3x by itself, so we have to get rid of this positive 36 by subtracting 36. Whatever I do to one side, I do to the other. That gives me negative 3x. I'm, I'm flipping the sides, but it's, it's okay. So I'm just read instead of having the negative 3x on the right, I'm putting it on the left. That's okay. Uh, and then we say 9 minus 36 is going to be negative 27. Then we want to undo the multiplication of x by negative 3 by uh, dividing by negative 3. But if we do to one side, we do to the other. It gives me x is equal to a negative divided by a negative is a positive, And 27 divided by 3 is a 9. Now, if I wanted to, I could go back and plug that in and make sure that's a valid answer. Now, I want to make sure that I know what would make this undefined or to make the denominator equal to 0, right? So you, you could just set this entire LCD equal to 0. And basically, you can see that x cannot be equal to a negative 3 because negative 3 plus 3 is 0 and um, it would make it undefined at that point. So since we didn't end up with a negative 3 answer, uh, the answer of x is equal to 9 seems to be a good answer.